After burning the Bible, they go ahead and swear. I will marry her. You can do whatever you want to do. I will marry her. And I will be in two. I will be in two. When you commit sin, you don't even harm yourself, but you go ahead to praise yourself and say, I've committed it, do whatever you want to do. That is not the spirit of repentance. After that, you say I'll marry them and even put out the date and you put it on your TV when you've gone to be introduced in customary marriage you do it you do what you've done after I've never married her you even lying in broad daylight I still have the character of a pastor. Or you only want to spoil. You only want to spoil. You even you just want you want to spoil and disorganize everything. You have even just despised the Bible. Your families in Uganda have been mocked and despised. You say, I will do it. And after you cry tears. I think I'm in a fix. God help me. The tears you would have cried should have been. Let me drop the prostitutes. Go back to my first wife. And make life better. Sin is sour. They didn't do that. They did the opposite. And now you sit and preach the gospel and say, Follow me like as I follow Christ. You cannot. How can you stand and call such a person your pastor who stands on national TV and lies after even committing a sin? I, I don't fight against, I don't, I'm not fighting against these men or even hate them. I only feel sorry for those that just follow them and they don't know what to do they don't know the Bible they're just being lied to but if it is the end of the day the next day you read another thing a pastor was arrested after sacrificing a kid and they buried their private parts somewhere people are reading they hear they understand but creating their opinion about Christianity so the generation is going to fall after that two, two days ago the news came out one of the pastors in Kansanga and he said I am not talking about hearsay but this is a court case in Machindia court they are saying enough is enough and they have given out a reason, reason why he says I cannot handle this man is very adulterous he even has many wives in church but the truth is among the many that she says they are not women they are men he sleeps with fellow men we, we don't know whether he's a 
we have known this for the last 25 years and when we stand here to warn you and tell you you think we are hating on people and it's a different campaign no you will hear this from the courts of law and other sources from out there then you will know that whatever we tell you here is the truth I can read for you the news article but I will not do that but here. we know those things we have known them for many years and people don't, don't want to change this is Kansanga Miracle Center 